Ooh. Kamikaze tourists. Hello, this is going to be an odd little video. I've come for a day in London and uh, I'm just going to take you along with me and just film as many trains and buses as possible. <laughs> I don't even know if there'll be that many. Uh, so let's see, let's see how much stuff we can see. So I think the first place I'm going to go is Blackfriars. See if I can get you a couple of trains here. What I absolutely love about trains channels is that everyone's got a different point at which they pan the camera with the train. If you make video, you're probably watching this channel because you make trains videos as well. And as you know, <laughs> you, you, you have to pan with the, the train. You either let the train leave the shot, which is stylish, but you want to get more train in. So you, you turn the camera with the train and you never know whether to do it on the last carriage or maybe on a logo or on another feature or on the end cab as well or um, uh, completely after the train has passed <laughs> uh, but I went with the, the the end cab on that one I was quite pleased with this a little action replay I was quite pleased with how that went anyway that's the uh, 1307 to Luton let's see if uh, another train comes in on the other platform for my next train And the trouble with filming a train coming into the platform is that it doesn't stop here, it stops down there, so we have to run to get on this train. No, look at that, it's a long train. I've, this is the first time I've seen a train come to this far in the uh, station. This train terminates at Peterborough. We will be calling at City Thameslink, Farringdon, London St Pancras International, Finsbury Park, Stevenage, Hitchin, Alsey, Bickleswade, Sandy, St Neots, Huntingdon and Peterborough. So I'm going to go two stops north to Farringdon and then get the Elizabeth line to Tottenham Court Road. I want to go to Bond Street but that doesn't open until well 12 days from now. Uh, so I'm going to go to Tottenham Court Road and then a bus.
Exit here for St. Paul's Cathedral. The doors will open automatically at the next station. City Tenswick. And then I'm going to change to the Elizabeth line. This train terminates at Peterborough. And then go over to... We will be calling at Farringdon, London St Pancras International. I'll come back. Elizabeth line. So this is Farrington. The thing with the Elizabeth line is it's so quiet. It's so quiet compared to what I'm used to in uh, a station that's underground. Wrong way. Going westbound. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's look at the sign, look. So I'd love to be going here, but it's blanked out at the moment. So I guess this, is this can be replaced? Yeah, it's a big sticker over the proper sign. I haven't got my microphone plugged in because it doesn't seem that reliable, but you can hear me, right? This is so quiet, it's so quiet. didn't know whether to go to the Dean Street exit or the Tottenham Court Road exit. No, either way, it's going to be a bit of walk. This weekend, I'm going to go to Tottenham no Court Road to see if we can see some buses. On Sunday, there will be no service between Paddington and so Dean quiet. Road until 0745. There will also be a reduced service between Paddington and Heathrow. Please allow extra time for your journey.
so these are the new buildings they put up here. Um, I've actually got footage of when there were a hole in the ground. And I've tried to articulate why I don't like these buildings very much. I mean, I mean to be fair, it's next to the absolutely revolting centre point building. <laughs> How many buildings have I designed, by the way? But um, I just think it's wrong. I think it's really profane. I just don't like these gold... It, it just looks like chocolate box and then as if that wasn't flashy enough we're gonna have the massive d-o-o-h advertising hoarding video advertising hoarding um, anyway let's uh let's find a bus for anyone who grew up in uh, in london you, you'd probably remember dionysus the kebab shop was here or dialysis as we used to call it <laughs> And I don't know what's happened today, but it's really quiet in London. This is, um, gone all shrill. This is a Wednesday, normal Wednesday weekday, and there's like no buses or anything. Oh, look, here's some buses here. Kamikaze tourists. Ah, I think that's the bus I probably should have got on. I swear, bus drivers in London have a nerve of steel. I don't know how they do it. It's like they've got the Christmas lights up already. It's October. It's early October. There's so little traffic, it's really starting to unnerve me slightly. The traffic is like how it was during the Rona. So I did want to stop off here in John Lewis for the uh, well, for a cafe break and sit down and do some more work. I got totally distracted by the reduced gear. <laughs> the Christmas decorations are already up theme this year is teddy bears with ropes and piercings. Uh, it's, it's lovely, really nice. Now I'm going to get on the central line and we're going to travel out from Bond Street out to White City so I can see a friend, I'm meeting a friend in whoo, half an hour. <laughs> this is going to be cutting it ever so tight. It's 2.45. I want to see if I can get there by 3.15. man
so I made it to, to White City. Yeah! I think, I think I just got into a bit of trouble. <laughs> so, you know those extra shots that I got of the Central Line trains? When I filmed these doors closing, just to the right of that shot, there was a woman. Very tall, big, kind of almost like a model. When I stopped the camera, she got up and she stood opposite me. And it was an empty train carriage, as you could see, from the bit that you did see. And she st stood opposite me like this. I'll, I'll try and impersonate it. She got her iPhone, she just stood opposite and just went like that. And didn't move for five stops. She was just doing that right in front of me. I was like, oh my God. I, I, I think she thought that I was filming her surreptitiously. I'm, I'm not, I'm just an introvert with a little camera. <laughs> filming some doors closing on a tube train. Oh my goodness. I had to get off. I, it was really aggressive, but I must have really upset her. So I, I don't think you're going to be a subscriber of the channel, but um, if it was you, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, but <laughs> I wasn't filming you, I promise. I mean, this is the, the hazard, isn't it? It's the hazard of filming trains. If, if you do this, do you get this problem? Do you get people thinking that you're filming them? Um, I'm, I mean no harm. I really mean no harm. Okay, I had a lovely chat with my friend Giles, who actually watches this channel. He's actually seen some of the travel videos. I'm going to go over to Shepherd's Bush now, and I'm going to get the overground to Camden Road. I've not done this in a long time. Um, I've lost the thing that attaches my camera to my chest, um, which might be a good thing, <laughs> but it means that I'm going to shoot this in a slightly different way. After my little run in on the central line, I feel like I've got to be a bit more careful about how I film these trains now and not point the camera at anyone. It's really, it's really not my confidence slightly, but I'm going to keep going for you. Uh, so thanks for hitting a thumbs up if you reach this point. Please use our available doors. So I've made it to Camden Road to see the train out. I don't want to bore you with this, but this is the station that I used to um, get on from primary school. I used to come from Gospel Oak to Camden Road. We used to get off here and once there were like really old trains with open windows so i once leaned out of the window and then pulled my arm in just as it met that bridge when we were going to barking one day <laughs> i don't know what it is but i absolutely love this station 
Um, maybe it's because my local, my nearest local train station, I don't know. Um, you can see the tower block that I grew up in over there towards King's Cross. I if I can pick it up. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness, it looks huge here. Yeah, that's Lulworth. And I was on the 10th floor, which you can just about see uh, by that gantry there. I mean, look, I, I must have stared out the window looking at the trains all day long. And uh, I didn't realise it was that close. Because when you're five, um, everything looks huge and far away. But the thing about this station is the amazing Victorian staircase. I don't know if it's still here. It's the first time I've been here in uh, decades. So I'm gonna walk down the stairs now, um, like I used to do with my mum, coming home from primary school. Can you imagine coming down here with a pram? It smells better now than it did back in the 80s. Back in the 70s and 80s, there used to be this giant Ferodo uh, tyre advert on the bridge. I have no idea why Ferodo had such a hold on this, on this bridge, but it was here for a very long time. And now it looks a bit more stylish. Uh, look at it, it's massive. And also, it, well, it's really crowded. Also, the buildings to go all the way, all the way down the side of the street as well. It's a massive station and I've seen some histories on the place on YouTube and they're brilliant but they've never explained you know what all this other building was used for you know was it part of the North London Railway I uh, see so you don't usually see this side of the building amazing I love it I don't know why I think it must be a childhood thing and obviously I'm in Camden now for my final meeting so I'll go and do that and then I'll pick it up and see if I can get you some buses along the way Uh, nice little run of buses, wasn't it? Right, go to my meeting now. so I don't annoy anyone by filming them by accident. That's my journey around London today. Thanks for coming with me. It's been great to have you here. Thanks for hitting the subscribe button, being awesome like that. And I guess we'll do another one of these soon. Right here is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. Yeah.